Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to another episode here on Tough Toy Tryouts. I'm Kyle, and with me, as always, is this little tester here, Story, who keeps licking her paws and she needs to stop. And yes, for those eagle-eyed viewers, I am wearing the same shirt, and that is because I could not wait to get this started. So right after the last review, I started this one because this thing is hilarious. It's all scuffed up because, again, I couldn't wait to start playing with this with Story here, and she absolutely loves it. It is called, I don't even know, a huge red ball it is made by jolly pets it is 14 inches in diameter it was 15 bucks on chewy which is actually a deal compared to everywhere else where it's at least 18 to 22 dollars depending on the color because apparently it does come in other colors though i've only seen it in red on chewy it's made of plastic here in the u.s they say the materials should be non-toxic it's pretty much indestructible from your dog anyways uh you could drop this out of a building it could shatter of course but for your dog it's so massive they can't get their jaws on it at least this one can't but yes it floats it is so much fun because she just rolls it all around um water does apparently get into it a little bit as there's there is some water in there but there's a little plug there that lets it out a little bit you just need a flathead screwdriver to get that out and uh yeah i mean this is just going to be a blast i don't even want to talk anymore about it i just want you to see story playing with this thing because it is hilarious so stay tuned so before we get into the review of the toy, I wanted to kind of, instead of a montage, do a little bit of a mini product review for some pet essential type stuff. And the first one we're doing is uh, a Dremel nail grinder. So story, she hates getting her nails done. Uh, we've taken her to salon places and whatnot to get her nails done and she absolutely hates it. It is just terrifying for everyone involved but even doing it at home she doesn't enjoy it either especially the the nail clippers she absolutely hates and i'm terrified she also has the uh, the black nails which makes it hard to see the quick so uh to a way we decided to get around that was to use a nail grinder now we've used the ones with like the protective caps on them um oftentimes the the little cheap battery they have built into it often just dies and then, you know, through some charging, it barely holds a charge for like five minutes at a time. So it just has been horrible. But then we found the the actual Dremel, you know, one of the original uh, Dremel tools makes their own pet grooming products. So I was like, all right, well, let's try that out. It was 25 bucks, comes with its own charger. The battery comes out so you can get additional chargers if you want and plug that in. This one comes in a high and low setting so you can adjust the speed. She's gonna hate it either way, but at least this one, I feel like I could control, uh, you know, the, the grinding a little bit better. Um, I don't have to worry about the little pet guard that doesn't really do anything anyways. Yeah, it just comes with these like little basic grit sanding paper things. It came with like five or six of those. Um, and you can just order replacements for those anytime you want. And yeah, I, it's worked very well. I was able to do all her nails in about, you know, five, 10 minutes, even with her <laughs> struggling against me uh, most of the time. But I definitely think this is what had worked the best for her. Um, basically it pays for itself in one trip since it is 25 bucks and I don't know how much you're paying to get just the nails done, but it could be like 15 and 20 bucks depending on how many people it takes. Like for her, it takes two people. Yeah, it's on Amazon, 25 bucks. So go ahead and check it out if you like. Uh, let's get on with the uh, toy review. And we are back with the review of this massive toy that she absolutely loves and we'll try to destroy it right now. All right, all right, okay. Uh, so again, the Jolly Pets ball. This thing is 14 inches in diameter. <laughs> she absolutely goes hog wild for this thing. Hold on, puppy, hold on, leave it. You're gonna fall out of your chair. All right, reset and I'm sweating. It is so hot in here. But anywho, yes, the Jolly Pets ball story, leave it. As you can see, she <laughs> she goes like, I don't know if it's anxiety or what, but like she makes the weirdest <laughs> hyena sounds when she's playing with this thing. She is trying to kill it. She tries to get her mouth around it, obviously can't. So it's a lot of scratching. She's constantly getting it stuck outside. Anyways, she loves the thing. So uh, if your pet loves any kind of ball shaped toys, they will go insane for this thing. Um, it's definitely an outside toy. We tried it inside and you just are knocking things over. You're gonna dent your walls. You might transfer some, you know, paint over or something, I don't know. And really the only issue we have with it is where do you keep this thing? It is so massive. You basically have to leave it outside. Keep in mind though, it does leak, it does get water inside. So even though it does float in the pool, it definitely does. Uh, the little nut here is not watertight. You could probably make it watertight if you just sealed the hole, 
but yes, water does get in a little bit and it's not the easiest to get out because uh, I guess the, the channel that's inside here goes into the ball a little bit. So uh, there's kind of a little, the water can't get over that lip to get out. So there's always gonna be a little bit of water inside. So I think that's an issue. You could, I guess, drill a hole or something to get it out if it's that much of a concern, but definitely water in there and it makes it very awkward to hold as water is sloshing around and it keeps trying to jump out of your hand but the good thing about having a little bit of water in there is that this thing rolls wherever it wants to when you're you know when your dog's playing with it so it's actually kind of a feature on its own just because it lends a little bit of uh, randomness as to where it's going but uh, again definitely I, I can't recommend this thing enough if you have the room for it outside uh, definitely give this a chance. It's worth the price and this thing is pretty much indestructible unless you were just slamming it against concrete or something. This thing should last for a pretty long time and that's pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for watching. We will be doing other reviews for things besides just toys. Uh, we have some clothes to do. Halloween's coming up so we have some outfits for her to be trying on and I'm sure we will have some plenty of pictures on Instagram and Twitter so check those out if you haven't yet. And until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye-bye.